anatomy of the cecum. Cecum is the commencement of large intestine and it is the large dilated blind sac situated in the right iliac fossa that is above lateral half of the inguinal ligament. Cecum occupies a triangular area which is bounded above by the transtubercular plane below by the inguinal ligament and medially by the right lateral plane. And what are the dimensions? The length is 6 centimeters and the width is 7.5 centimeters. And types of cecum. According to the basis of growth of cecum, there are four types which are found. The first one is a conical type or we can say fetal type. Cecum is conical and appendix is attached at its apex. It is seen in 2% of the cases. And the second one is called as infantile type. So here cecum is quadrate that is right and left saccules are of equal size and uh, it is quadrate in shape and appendix is attached at the depressed bottom and it is seen approximately in 3% of the cases. And the third type is said to be the normal type and it is the most common type of cecum seen in approximately 80 to 90% of the cases. And the right saccule over here is larger than the left and appendix is attached on the posteromedial aspect about 2 centimeters below the ileocecal junction. And the fourth one is called as exaggerated type where the right saccule hugely enlarges and the left saccule atrophies. Here appendix is attached close to the ileocecal junction and it is seen in approximately 4 to 5 percent of the cases. Now let us talk about the relations of the cecum. First is the visceral relations. Anterior relations are coils of the small intestine and the anterior abdominal wall. If you see the posterior relations, right psoas major and the iliacus muscle, femoral nerve and the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and genitofemoral nerve, right gonoidal vessels, appendix in the retrocecal rusus. Now let us see what are the peritoneal relations. Peritoneal folds in relation to the cecum and terminal part of the ileum are as follows. One is the superior ileocecal fold. This superior ileocecal fold lies between the ileum and the ascending colon. It is known as the vascular fold of the cecum as it is a fold of peritoneum from the posterior abdominal wall raised by the anterior cecal artery. It guards mainly the superior ileocecal rusus and opens downwards and to the left. And next is the inferior ileocecal fold. It spreads from the antero inferior aspect of the terminal part of the ileum to the cecum or appendix. It is also known as bloodless fold of travis as it does not contain any of blood vessels. And the next one is the cecal fold. It forms the right boundary of the posterior ileocecal rusus where it lies on the posterior surface of the cecum. Now after discussing all these points, now let us go towards interior of the cecum. Cecum has two orifices on the interior aspect. One is the ileocecal orifice and second one is appendicular orifice. So the first one is the ileocecal orifice. Ileocecal orifice is present on the posteromedial aspect of the ileocecal junction where ileum opens into the large intestine and it is guarded by the ileocecal valve. And this orifice is about 2.5 centimeters transversely and the ileocecal valve has two lips over here and two fernula. The upper lip is small, horizontal and the lower lip is longer, concave and both lies at the level of the ileocolic junction. Each lip is made up of thick circular coat covered by the submucosa 
and the mucosa. Here, the ileocecal valve is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system by means of sympathetic nerves, which causes tonic contractions of the ileocecal sphincter and it is mechanically closed by the distinction of the cecum. The ileocecal valve prevents the regurgitation of the contents of the cecum into the ileum and extremely regulates the flow of the contents from the ileum to the cecum. So, the two lips meet at the ends and continuous as the mucosal folds known as cecal frenula and it may act as the cecocolic sphincter. So, the left end of orifice is rounded and right end of orifice is narrow and pointed. So, after discussing this, second is the appendicular orifice. Appendicular orifice is located 2 centimeters below and behind the ileocecal orifice. It is guarded by a valve of Gerlach which is semi-lunar fold of the mucous membrane which is attached mainly to the lower margin of the opening. So, this is what you need to know about uh, the orifice of the cecum. And next important topic which is neurovascular structures of the cecum. Now, let us discuss about the blood supply. Cecum is supplied by the anterior and posterior cecal arteries and these are the branches of ileocolic artery and uh, the veins of the cecum follow arteries and they drain into the superior mesenteric vein they finally drain into the portal system that is portal vein and what is the lymphatic supply lymph from the cecum drains into the ileocolic lymph nodes which finally drains into the superior mesenteric group of pre-iotic lymph nodes and uh, when we discuss about the nerve supply of the cecum, sympathetic nerve supply is from T11 and L1 spinal segments via superior mesenteric plexus and the parasympathetic nerve supply is from both vagus nerves. So, by this we completed the neurovascular structures of the cecum. Next topic is the development of the cecum. Cecum and appendix developed from cecal bird arising from post arterial segment of mid gut loop. So, here the proximal part of the bird dilates and forms cecum and the distal part becomes narrow and forms appendix. So, here initially appendix arises from the apex of the cecum, but later due to the rapid growth of cecum the attachment of appendix shifts medially. So, this is what is about the embryology or development of the cecum. By this we completed all the important points about cecum.